ولقد خلقناكم ثم صورناكم ثم قلنا للملائكه تسجدوا لادم فسجدوا الا ابليس very straight forward ayat i'll go through a brief transition before we get to the the heavy subject we created you we're the ones that created you we're the ones who molded you so i know what you like cuz i made you and i know how i fashioned you and i know the things i put inside of you i don't know every one of your body parts and i know every one of your cravings and every one of your temptations and then after creating your body your physical body then i put something you know uh, uh, something fascinating in you which allah doesn't mention here but says thumma qulna lil malaikati tasjudu li adam we said to the angels make sajda to adam all of them dead with the except with the exception of iblis lam yakum min as-sajidin he wasn't going to be from those who make, made sajda he wasn't going to do it lam yakun min as-sajidin as opposed to saying ma sajada aw lam yasjud lam yakun min as-sajidin he was never going to do it allah knew all along he wasn't going to do it qala ma mana'aka alla tasjuda idh amartuk allah said what what of anything what possibly prevented you to make sajda when i told you when i commanded you qala ana khairum minhu you know the story that's not the focus of the day today but it's important to build this conversation he says i'm better than him you made me from fire. You made him from clay. You know, a kafir does not believe that Allah made him. A kafir does not believe that Allah is khaliq. These are the words of Iblis. And Iblis says, khalaqtani. You made me. He doesn't just believe in Allah, he's talking to Allah and he's acknowledging that Allah is his creator. His kufr is not just of not, I don't believe Allah exists. His disbelief is actually his disobedience. I'll say that three times. His disbelief is his disobedience. His disbelief is his disobedience. His disbelief is his disobedience. Why am I saying it three times? Because there are people in the audience who disobey Allah and they say, it's not that bad, at least I still believe. At least I'm still, it's not like I'm a kafir. I do some stuff, I know it's messed up. But it's not like I'm a disbeliever. His disbelief was his disobedience. Shaitan will not, he doesn't need to get you to disbelieve. You can still call Allah your creator. All shaitan has to do is get you to what? Disobey. All he needs you to do is get you to disobey. You have to understand that. And if you keep telling yourself at the end of it, at least I still believe in Allah, that should be good enough for me. Then shaitan believed in Allah too. He did, he did exactly that. That's why I'm repeating that three times.